Uh oh, the clips keep coming out. Sorry. Clippy. Alright, how's it going? So in this first one, we've got quite a team going here. I'll actually pause it for a second. Reggie Gaius wheezing, Blacephalon Colossal, and then they've got the Urshifu and the Feeny just to be stinkers. So this is, you know, a team that we need to really be prepared for multiple things. If you saw, I have my Marowak Trick Room team. So let's be ready. Camps. So they have no reason for sure to double target the Wigglytuff slot. So what we're going to do is just ally switch Trick Room the boys. Alright, break his nose. There it goes. Broken nose. <laughs> and Wigglytuff will get a competitive boost from that, so. Because of the neutralizing gas, we don't get a boost. Alright, well let's, yeah, Hyper Voice and use Psychic. They're probably going to protect, let's be honest. But if they don't, no protect. That was not what they needed. I mean, maybe they wanted to be slow, like, but it halves their attack too, not just their speed, so that's not exactly great for them. I mean, they definitely should have protected for it that way. Okay, Dazzling Green Time. Dazzling Gleam, Muddy Water. If we really wanted, we could flamethrower the Urchifu just to make sure that it, we hit it, but it's fine. They'll probably use Sucker Punch with Urchifu would be my guess. No problem there, Wigglytuff gets a, the competitive boost again, well, for the first time. And that is the end of Regigigas' Dynamax 2, so... They're thinking, they're thinking. Uh-oh. 
we might have wanted Marowak. Yeah, yeah, Max, Max Lightning, the Bull of Cephalon. I, cause it's not gonna protect, like, you know. I mean, we just straight turned that game on its head. Not even just with Slowbro. Obviously, Slowbro setting the trick room was important. But Wigglytuff really carried the team in this one. So, uh, well, actually, Slowbro used Psychic, and it was, you know, that did a lot to it, uh, losing, so. Sludge Bomb, Willow Woods, yeah, okay. Taunt and Protect, Slow Start. Nice looking beanie. Was that Wicked Blow, Soccer Punch? Black glasses, that's interesting. Alright, so we got a Moltres, Raichu, Therian Landorus, Incineroar, Fini, and a Kartana. I might have to plug in my computer. Well, let's get that competitive boost, right? You do not want to send out a Intimidator against Wigglytuff. Exactly, because then it pressures them to fake out Wigglytuff, and we will get the Trick Room with Slowbro.
if we're lucky, we can take out Incineroar before it does anything. Yeah, it didn't look like it was going to. That critical is nice on the taboo, though. They both have berries. Bad idea. Yeah, that's actually a good idea because this next hyper voice is going to take out their incineroar so. Why is it so slow? Wait, what just happened? Um, it looks like I missed a turn accidentally. Oh, so it looks like my hyper voice just didn't take out the Tapu Fini and then the Fini took out my Wigglytuff, so that's what happened. We could, um, no, nah, I don't, why, why Dynamax Slowbro? Oh, God. That crit probably helped us out, though, I have to be honest, so, you know. I don't really know what my idea was with doing that, but it worked. Yeah. They already used their Dynamax, so... Bipped. Straight bipped them, didn't even have to Dynamax. They do, uh, yeah, mole traces have lower defense. The Kartana, I think, has better defense than special defense. Played Sacred Sword Protect and Substitute, and yeah, it does, uh, its special defense is pretty weak, so a flamethrower would have done a lot to it. A W-O-P. Oh! Um... I wonder if I if this isn't the only time I face this opponent.
gotta watch out what, for what you're doing. Alright, well one Hyper Voice Muddy Water combo should take care of the Bacarona and leave the Clefable at pretty low health. So, oh they do it. I set off their policy. Well, next turn we can use. They didn't even Dynamax. Oh, that's great. And they didn't use Follow Me. Well, why would they use Follow Me when I have Muddy Water and Dazzle? So, I mean, even if they use follow me, they're only going to get one out of it before they go down, so... And a single target hyper voice technically does a little bit more. Take it. Surviving though, we are surviving. Um, we should maybe honestly target the Valkarona. Yeah. Yeah, go for your max guard, buddy. Oh. Yeah, I just know that if if Mammoth Swine's on a 3v1, that's not very great for it, so. The real question is, should I ally switch Trick Room again? <laughs> oh god. Oh, 
fact that Wigglytuff actually survived that too, um, that struggle bug was super important. Yeah, Vickavolt's not in a lot of pressure here, so. Sounds like Muddy Water Energy Ball is the win. Or Flash Cannon. Looks like we're gonna actually just try to get rid of the Ball Corona. Okay. Not a great play. It wasn't gonna matter, so. But technically, could have been over that turn. Switch trick room in the late game again was ridiculously important. And that's how you do it to him. Alright, well, next video I think we're actually going to see a four win streak with the Slowbro Wigglytuff lead. Like, I know I've been kind of talking about how I needed to diversify my leads again, but like, the Wigglytuff Slowbro lead really can be deadly, so, uh, Let's see it keep running house. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was pretty crazy, right? See you later. <laughs> Have a good one.